Hey, it's me, Vicky Marie, with a coffee. Jib. Oh, I've got all hair in my mouth. Oh, oh gosh, this wig. I love this wig, but it's a little bit annoying. Okay, so we're on day four of the Advent calendar. Bibbity bobbity boo, bringing some positivity to you. Okay, so what I want to look at first, so this, remember, this is uh, the Vicky Marie Chats Advent calendar. Every day I'll be released, every morning, releasing a short video, just hopefully to give you a couple of feel good vibes for the day about Christmas, etc. No negativity, only positivity. And I tell you, it's a little bit chilly this morning. My hands are freezing. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you, so this is a lovely e card that I was sent by a member and it's for all of us, for all of you, for me, for you, cheers to a Merry Christmas. <clears throat> Let me just, to all the subscribers and members, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Love from Lady Dog Lover, also known as Jean. So thank you so much, Jean. That is so sweet. Send that to all of us as well. So it's lovely. So thank you so much and Merry Christmas to you too. So that's the first thing that I wanted to show you. Now then. So I wanted to show you some, you know, I've been saying that now I've got some transport. I'll be going out and about and taking some videos, etc. So I went out yesterday and I took a little video. I went, took my little doggies to the beach for the first time uh, for ages because I haven't had a car, so I haven't been able to go. And, oh, my God, they loved it. They absolutely loved it. They were like, um, well, especially Rocky. He's that more hyper one of the two dogs you'll see. He just was... He just didn't know what to do with himself. He was so happy. He was in the sea. He was swimming. He was rolling around in the sand, as you can imagine, the sand all over my house now. So <clears throat> that's what we're going to look at. Um, of course, I've always got to just remember where I put it. It's in here. Yeah. Right. Now, first thing I want to show you, this is what the colour should have been. You know, this is um, the beach. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, so this would be the normal colour of the beach and the sea, etc., and for some unknown reason, my video, uh, I'm going to go through these pictures with you, actually, because these are all pictures. These are all photos of uh, around about where I live. Um, that's the colour that the video should have been. Turned out black and white. I have no idea why I obviously pressed the wrong button. These are some sunsets that I've taken before. We do have some beautiful sunsets. We really do. Oh, so here's the video. Does anybody know why it might be in black and white? Have I obviously pressed the wrong button on the video? But anyway, still, it's still quite nice. Can you hear him going mad? Just because I tied him up and he was on that is there so that I. Tied both the dogs up so I could actually take some footage. I'm going to have to go without the dogs one day. And he's going mad because he just wants to get down and run in the sea. He's already been running around in it for 20 minutes. Oh, no. Oh. no, no. No. Stop. Stop. As you can see, he does absolutely nothing that telling. My Rocky's like he's on speed most of the time. He's high on life always. My dog's 
get back in the sea. He's been in the sea. Rocky has been in the sea. Uh, he's been in the sea. I can't let Riley off his lead because you're never quite sure if he'll come back or not. I'm not even sure if this is recording because I can't see. I think it is. That's the trouble when you... Yeah, big problem when you go out in the sun uh, to take videos is you can't actually see the camera. So I was trying to look at the um, GoPro to see if it was actually working or not. I couldn't even see it. So I was a bit hopeful. You know, I, was, so I must have pressed the black and white button, I suppose. Trying to record in the sun. Can't actually see anything on the screen. So they've had a little run around, they've been in the sea, my rocky has gone absolutely mad because this is the first time he's been to the beach for a year. Get up, get up. I just found it really weird because, hey, shh. Yeah, did you hear him growling? There's a little white poodle going past and my rock is going grrr, grrr. Oh, God, honest to God. You know, you see people and they're, they're dogs, they're lovely and calm and not my dog. Not my dog. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't They are. Yeah, and if, it, if the colour was on you, it was beautiful, the blues and everything. But, yeah, you can see, look, this is like another land strip in the distance here and there's a little, um, I don't know what. But, yeah, it was so clear. The ships in the distance, I don't know how that Yeah, there were ships as well, but I don't think you can really make them out. Part of the land strip. Yeah, it's a really, really beautiful place. Yeah, it's Oh, Absolute chaos. What they did about the every other dog and then people get stroppy dog and they did their chicken figure about so that's just my dog, the little chicks. Anyway, so yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. I hope this comes out okay because I've got a long fight with a dog who's trying to get me to take him off his leave. And uh, the fact that it's so sunny and I'm not even sure if it's recording. With those two facts, I'm not even sure if this is going to come out or not. And the thing is, I wanted to take some film while they were like running around, but I can't because I can't let, I can only let Riley, uh, Rocky off the lead. Riley, God knows when he'd come back. Sometimes he comes back, but you just can't guarantee it. So consider I don't really want to be here like for hours. I'm trying to get Riley to get in the car. And also he runs out in the middle of the road and nearly gets himself run over. He's done that so many times. Riley is awful to, when you let him off the lead. I mean, he lo I, I really, it's awful not to let him off the lead because he loves it so much. But then he just can't, unless it's boiling hot, the only time I can let him off the lead is in the summer when it's so hot he gets so thirsty. So he will come back because he wants water. But if I let him off the lead and it's not hot and he's got no reason to come back, oh, my God, I could be there all day. I've got three hours of trying to get him. Yeah, three hours. So they're all they're all excited. I know they're all excited because you've been to the beach where they absolutely love the beach. So Rocky's going to hang himself on that lead if he's not careful. But yeah, it's a beautiful day. There's, you know, you feel like you could swim. I'm sure people would swim in it. I don't know what the temperature is, but it's probably not that cold. Oh, so Rocky's stuck digging now. So he does that sometimes. I'm not really sure why he does that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if any of your dogs do this, but my Rocky, he quite often, if it's sand or any soil or whatever, he just starts digging a massive hole. And he was flicking it all in Riley's face, so he flicked it all over me as well, so we were all covered in sand. Oh. Don't just love dogs. You know, I always look at other people's dogs and they're all calm and well behaved and mine. It's like kids and two, that's how I used to be. <laughs> they're all calm and well behaved. They're my son, they're well behaved most of the time. To be fair, I could be a little bit 
it's not sometimes I jump at other kids being naughty, so I think I'm getting uh, getting it paid back to me now with the dogs. Because they've ever had dogs that have been found and oh she's licking the sand all boat through the sleeping pole, you dumb big pole. What's that hole for, Rocky? What's it for? Oh, you didn't bark at that dog. Just take them. You just take Now, and then it suddenly stopped because uh, <laughs> I turned it on accidentally in the car a couple of times, I think. So the battery went, so that was the end of that. But I'm sorry it wasn't in colour. Um, you know, I don't know if I just pressed the wrong button or whatever I must have done, mustn't I? So, anyway. So I wanted to show you that. hope it made you smile at least. Now, another thing I just wanted to show you that I was looking at this morning is Let's see if I can find it. So in Madrid, of course, capital of Spain is Madrid. And uh, they've turned on the lights there. Let's see. Oh, what's that? Um, I saw it on Sky News this morning, so maybe I should have a look at Sky News again, see if I can get it. Oh, God, it just looks really beautiful. I mean, Madrid is a fantastic place to visit. You know, it really is. I wouldn't want to live in Madrid. I wouldn't want to live in any... Um, city i don't think but for at times like um christmas etc you know madrid is pretty special a bit like london i suppose of course i won't be able to find it now probably i was just look came up this morning God, of course, I can't find it now. But anyway, they've uh, lit up Madrid with LED uh, bulbs, etc. Sure, I can find this because I was looking at it. Sorry. Uh, let's see. Is that it? Uh, oh. Okay, at least I found something here. Um, right, so I'm just going to show you this. This is not what I was looking for, but never mind, I found something. Okay, so Madrid switches on its Christmas lights. There's a lot of people out and about. So that's the Puerta del Sol, that's the main square in Madrid. That's where they celebrate New Year as well. People having their picture taken with it. It's great. I come from Central America. I saw it on TikTok and I thought it was something striking. And that's why I came here to see it. Wow.
nice. Okay, so there you go. Madrid switched on its lights, so Christmas has officially started in Spain. We're always a little bit later here than everywhere else because, as you know, Christmas goes on right until the 6th of January. Okay, and the last thing I want to show you are our Christmas pictures that people have sent me. Um, I've, I've had so many pictures, it's brilliant. Uh, but carry on sending me your Christmassy pictures. If you're, if the ones you've sent me are not on here, I just haven't had time to load them up yet onto the um, onto the folder. So don't worry if your picture's not here, it will be here. I'm going to sneeze. Sorry, it's this. Um, oh. It's the wig, I think. I don't know. Okay, finally get there. Sorry, I'm really slow this morning. Okay, I think it's because it's Monday. So, let's have a look at the pictures that have been sent in so far. Little doggy with the snowman. <laughs> Two dogs protecting the uh, Christmas tree. Two goats, Boris standing up and uh, Billy not standing up and, of course, in the snow. Oh. Three doggies in the snow. Two doggies in the snow. Nice roaring fire. Snow again. Lots of snow about this year. Little Robin. Another little robin, lovely Christmas tree, snowman, illuminated snowman. Oh, I think that's a nativity scene. I love this one with the dog because it then it gets the ball off the Christmas tree and look at these. Uh, Marvin the donkey. One of my subscribers dressed as Father Christmas. Shadow the cat. Again, Shadow is a total poser. That's what my little dog on his last Christmas is not with us anymore. Or well, she isn't, I should say. Another shadow posing again. One of my subscribers in the Christmas hat. Alexa, turn on Christmas lights. Alexa, turn on Christmas lights. <laughs> Oh dear, I do love that. It makes me laugh every time. Yeah. So, some fantastic Christmassy pictures so far. Carry on sending them in for the video. God, I'm having wig problems this morning. I'm having all sorts of problems this morning. I think it's because it's Monday. It's that Monday morning feeling. So, okay. Have it. That's your uh, advent calendar for today, for the 4th of December. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow for the next one. So remember, there's a lot of people out there maybe not looking forward to Christmas as well. We have to always remember that. So hopefully if I can just make you laugh every day, um, you know, I know Christmas can be a bloody miserable time of year for some people. You could be your first year you're facing when you've lost someone. Or it could be a financial reasons or it could be like family reasons. Like if you've got 
children, but you're separated from your partner, but you might not be able to see them. Uh, you may, if you've got adult children, you might be estranged from them. Maybe you can't see your grandchildren. Uh, oh, there's all sorts of reasons, isn't there? Just general family stress. So there's all sorts of reasons why people, uh, maybe they're lonely, people are lonely, and it's crushing loneliness at Christmas because it feels like everybody else is having a great time, doesn't it? So I'll just carry on trying to make you laugh a little bit every day. And I know it doesn't, you know, you can't make things better, but you can just cheer, you can do a little thing. So if you've got a neighbour who you think maybe needs a little chat or, you know, if you can help them in any way, just sometimes it's enough just to ask them if they're all right. And it makes people feel better that somebody actually said to them, oh, are you OK? Somebody actually cared about how they're feeling. So Bibbity Bobbity Boo sending positivity to you. I'll see you tomorrow. And until then, may your God go with you. Bye.